the time now. It's six o'clock in the evening time on uh, this July 20th, 2014, on a Sunday evening time now. Follow what happened just BJ Wiggins. The evening report. <laughs> Sunday evening, July 20th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Hard Kirk Editions at 6 o'clock on this July 20th, 2014, on a Sunday evening. 72 degrees on temperature over forecast cards, with a few peaks of sun trying to peak through. 71% of the humidity, variable 5 miles per wind speed, barometer 3.14 inches, dual put about 62 degrees of visibility, 10 miles. Let's take a look at our radar scope. Shows a lot of rain showers covering much of the Cape Islands, and then a couple of patches of rain showers around Plymouth, Town, and Providence, and that to see. And spotty rain showers in southeast and south central Rhode Island coastline, and off the Newport, Rhode Island. Here. Here, the line of rain showers covering down for central Maine and up in and west central portions of. Print Center Island, dear. Spotty rain shots of southeast of Portugal, the southeast of Portugal, Prince of Center Island. A lot of showers and storms from Quebec all the way down from the northeastern and north central Ontario and north central New York State, dear. A lot of rain shots off the New Jersey coastline. A lot of rain shots of west central New York, northwestern Pennsylvania, then through West Virginia, and northeastern Kentucky, Tennessee, then through western North Carolina, and spotty showers and storms from the Carolinas, then through Georgia, and covering much of Florida, then stretching it down through the Gulf States. And stretching down for southeastern Texas. A lot of rain showers and storms from north central Mexico, stretching up to Wyoming, stretching up to western Texas, up in Mexico, down through Utah, Colorado, southern Wyoming, and stretching it down to northern Nevada, down through eastern California. Here. Now the rain shots in southeastern Washington State, north central Idaho, down from the northwest Montana. Now the rain shots from British coming all the way down for Alberta, down for western Saskatchewan. I bet you the rain shots in south central Manitoba, west central, and south central Ontario. Wagner, Montana. Good evening, 53. 89 degrees with scattered clouds. Here. Take a look at our satellite loop. Beer shows line of clouds covering much of Maine and coastal New England and off the Jersey shoreline and stretching down food. <laughs> Atlantic Canada, line of clouds from Quebec, stretching in down northeastern Ontario, and down for western New York and Pennsylvania, and stretching down for West Virginia. Patch clouds covering much of southeastern states and stretching it in and the, off the Gulf states. Line of clouds from Mexico, stretching Fork Wind, ranging up into Wyoming, Idaho, Northern Nevada, and Nevada, California, and Batch of clouds from Western Oregon, and Washington, Northern Idaho, and Montana, stretching up from Canada, from British, coming all the way down from Western Ontario, and now from Northern Quebec. Here, map situation here. State your front farm. The Oregon, Washington, stretching it in for Northern Idaho, Montana, and a call for from the Northern Rockies and none of the Northern North Dakota and up in them. Manitoba, warm front from Eastern Manitoba, and from Western Ontario, pink front up in the Manitoba. And another state street front from the Gulf States and then up in Alabama, and a warm front down for Northern Georgia and then for warm state street front from the Carolinas and out to sea. High pressure from Eastern Ontario and up. High pressure coming from Ontario and then for the Eastern Great Lakes and then for the Virginias. High another high pressure coming up to the Fort Wayne region. Low pressure in Utah, southern Mexico, and another high pressure from southern Montana. While hot conditions in the Northern Plains stage. We have a fire by from the Dakotas all the way down for the Plains stage and then for the Southern Rockies. Another fire by from Northern California and another fire by from Western Arizona and then for the Gulf of California. Fire by off the California coastline here. We got a by from Ohio, down for Kentucky, Tessie, a photo by off the Carolinas and off the Atlantic coastline here. 70 degrees at temperature in Boston. It's 81 in Washington, D.C., 84 in Richmond, Virginia, 73 in Atlanta, 82 in Miami, 94 in Brandsville, 89 in Dallas, Texas, 101 in El Paso, 103 in Phoenix, 92 in Albuquerque, 93 in Salt Lake City, 96 in Denver, 83 in Kansas City, 85 in St. Louis, 82 in Chicago, 83 in Detroit, 86 in Minneapolis, 93 in Billings, Montana, 83 in Great Falls, Montana, 65 in Seattle, 77 in San Francisco, and 76 in Los Angeles. Current conditions in Red Region, 68 in Boston, it's 75 in Bedford, 73 in Beverly, and Gloucester, 79 in Pittsburgh, 75 in Worcester, 76 in Surbridge, 78 in Webster, 79 out in Milford, 74 in Norwood, 73 in Taunton, 69 in Bedford, 68 in Plymouth, 66 in Providence Island in Cape Cod Bay, it's 68 out in Chatham, 70 in Falmouth, 63 in Marfa Bridge, 63 in Nantucket, 70 in Block Island, 75 in West Virginia and Providence, 73 in Smithfield, it's 79 in Springfield, 81 in Amherst, 76 in Greenfield and Northam, 73 in Pittsfield, 80 out in Albany, New York, 17 in Benny to Vermont, 75 in Bradley, Vermont, 73 in King Hampshire, 75 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 77 in Fountain Cochran, Manchester, and National Hampshire, 71 out in Emerson, 70 in Portsmouth, 
Perry's and Windsor, Lux and Hartford, 79 American, 77 Waterbury and Denver, 78 in New Haven, 75 in Bridgeport, 71 in Long Island, 72 in. Held in honor of those killed on Flight 17. Montauk, 33 minutes, 76 in New York City. Here. Yeah. Ukrainian church. Predictions serve forecast. Discussion around the country. Heat and humidity will make a return to the Central United States by early this week. Flash flooding and severe thunderstorms was possible across Northern Plains and the Mid Mississippi Valley. And when it's so, we can issue control over the Southeast in the United States. Five. Temperatures at two points will be on the rise. Beneath an upper ridge building and over the Central United States early this week, and heat advisors have been issued in portions of the Midwest where heat and distance could climb into the triple digits. To the north of the expanded ridge, a cold front will begin to drop south, southeast where it the northern tier of the nation and front will trigger showers and thunderstorms while first and front the northern plains Monday night and across the upper Mississippi Valley on Tuesday. These developing storms are to be tough and warm and unstable in mass setting up for only for the southern United States, given the family of the chance of become organized and a potential for the front fire, flash flood and severe weather, scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible with the tail end of the boundary while it settles out for the front of the northern Great Basin and Rockies. When the stormy conditions persist across the southeast and up in the central populations Monday and Tuesday, Blondie and elongated upper trail search over the eastern United States, but to the shower and thunderstorm activity should be scattered in nature. However, a lingering frontal boundary combined with a rich and moisture supply could lead to organized areas of rain, heavy rains, and along the central Gulf Coast across Florida and over portions of Georgia and South Carolina. Here. Sighting on the Cape has been confirmed tonight, and take a look at this. A family on a boat ride off discussion in New England air. Showers and conclude over southeast New England as an offshore low lift, so east stop the region. High pressure builds back to the region and result in dry conditions while affecting warmer and more humid air in Norfolk by late Wednesday to Thursday. There is risk for showers and that's as, as a cold front enters the, the region. Thereafter, the trend is for drier, less humid, and not as warm conditions rather later in Thursday than early next weekend. Near travel until 68 Monday morning. Then to this evening, widespread showers and continue to expect southeast of New England as a wave of low pressure slides. Not as long as tall front. The boundary will offshore in southern New England. The ridge of a high pressure pressurely situated across the Dover Capital Bank will build back to south as the associated initial pulse within the middle levels of the aforementioned low swift front. The region beyond which second air has prevailed at all with a resident sea. The latest satellite trends observe in clear conditions across the church of New England. Pump should wind down from the likely to chance slight chance across Cape Cod and Atlas by evening. For the night, low pressure near 40 north, 70 west, lips these top where the East Dover Bank has high pressure built. Back in the region, should find ourselves within the rear of the initial wave front. The part 12 regime across the region where the VA prevails in the environment of six years, so will drop rain chances to stop what the roof is going across southeast of the adjacent waters. Please for forecast guidance with sleep rain, but I'm not buying it. Clear it should stay west to east. See the latest satellite trends, but may see some clouds to the west drift to the region overnight. Such clouds are associated with a secondary impulse when the eastern Great Lakes are open to wave through. Begin. The lift out of the region thus could turn out to be a mild night beneath a brilliant of glass. Lows around the middle of the 50s with the warmest south parts of the urban areas along the coast. As a lot of our components of the wind relaxes low, northeast winds are diminished, but still expect some 50 miles power over the gusts over the eastern shore of Massachusetts, including Cayman Islands. Patchy fog for interior shelter valley reshapes such as Weather and the Norfolk Connect River Valley, the Norad Keen New Hampshire, for example, may also have a few hazy patches. Here and there in the climate, I told your favorite. Here's such as the Northeast Connecticut and Central Mass. Of empty space. Southeast of Mass, which is around Tonton Front, not as high of confidence, say it's places around the Northern Connecticut River Valley. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, let's take a look at our Atlantic. Stockers have effectively walked off the job. Yes, it is unbelievable. We don't see any, any projects that. A broad area of low pressure associated with a trouble wave is located over the East Atlantic Ocean about midway between the West Coast of Africa and the Leeward Islands. Showers and thunderstorms are closer to the North Islands. And if it developments during the next day two should be slow to occur beyond a couple of days, environmental conditions are expected to become unfavorable for developments while the system moves westward about 50 to 20 miles an hour. And formation shots by four hours, lower about 10% of formation shots by five days, lower about 10%. And in the Eastern Pacific, here. Shot at us for the Eastern Northern Pacific, east of 140 degrees west, longitude shot at us from activity search to the low of area of low pressure about 750 miles south southwest of But still, Mexico has become a little better organized during the past few As the sole development of the system is possible during the next few days. Walk moves westward or west north westward about 50 miles per formation chance for 40 hours, lower about 20% formation chance for 5 days, medium about 30%. All right, let's take a look. 
A group of immigration protesters gathered outside Camp Edwards on the Cape today. They are very angry over Governor Deval Patrick's proposal to house immigrant children on the base in Bourne. Town officials have also spoken out voicing safety concerns there. The governor has only opened the door to the possibility. Right now, there are no plans in place. Okay, the latest on Matt Mill is at 2 o'clock. Hey, Mapa, wins with a 100 Mapa of Gus and it's gonna make a way through. Time one is a category three storm. Map, but Tuesday afternoon is gonna make a northwest and curve in the eastern China at a cat two storm southeast of China. And it's gonna make its way through China as a cat one storm, typhoon, or a tropical storm. Okay, tonight. We will see lows in the 60s in much region while up north can see temperatures up in the 50s. Okay, some 40s around up in New Hampshire, around Mount Washington, around 45. And tomorrow we'll see another warm day and temp, more sun than clouds. High about 35, about 85 degrees. See tomorrow's high temperatures here. In the city of Boston. Tomorrow will be warm and more sun than clouds for tomorrow. Good sleep in the night ahead and warm and trend starts tomorrow here. <laughs> Take a look at a view from the outside. It shows the sun trying to peek out of the clouds to our west there. And it's going to make for a beautiful evening in store on the Sunday evening here. Okay, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. For tonight, there's my Timmy. We are going to see patchy fog after 1 a.m. of our most of the got alone 57 degrees and not one about 5 to 9 miles far. For Monday, Patch about before 7 a.m. was most class guys and gradually becoming sunny skies at high near 80 degrees. No put about 7 miles per Monday night, patch about to 3 a.m. was part class guys known 6 to degrees and southeast put about 5 miles becoming light and variable after midnight. Here. For Tuesday, most of the sun skies are near 86 degrees and southwest put about 6 to 8 miles per hour. So that. Park class car alone 67 degrees and for southwest wood about 6 to 9 miles per hour. For Wednesday, most of the sky under 87 degrees. Weather that? Park class car alone 71 degrees. Friday, chance of showers and thunderstorms, parts of the sky under 81 degrees and chance of perspective is 40%. Friday night, most of the sky alone 62 degrees. Friday, most of the sky under 80 degrees. Friday night, most of the sky alone 60 degrees. Saturday, most of the sky under 82 degrees. Saturday night, park class car alone 62 degrees. For Sunday, most of the sky under 80 degrees. Peters, what a phrase of the day! A beautiful evening in store and a marvelous Monday in town. Peter Channel News time is now 6 13. It's time now for a travel report. No Mass pack on the westbound side, slow from Logan Airport to Boston all the way down to Ted Williams Tunnel to South Boston. Route 1 staff, slow from Route 69 ever down for the Torben Bridge through the road work on the Torben Bridge right now. On Chelsea Road, construction left lane closed on Torben Bridge, stop on between Carter Street and Torben Bridge Tolls. In Charlestown, road construction road grade due to two lands on Torben Bridge, no farm between City Square Tunnel and Bacon Street off Ramit Chelsea. In 120 Mule on Fine Farm, plus to the bridge tree on both sides, Route 3 North a little slow around between 53 and Hanover and 139 Moxfield on the northbound side of Route 3, a little slow from Hanover down to Route 18 in Weymouth here. Route 495 northbound, a little slow from Middlebury all the way down to 24 in the rain and mayor. But about 495 south, a little slow as you put 290 in Marlborough from 62 in Berlin. There have been no injuries reported. A special honor unveiled today in memory of two Boston firefighters. And Mass Park Lane's van sold from Palmer down to A4 and Sturbridge and enacted on Mass Park Westbound you approach A4 and Sturbridge here. And Mass Park Westbound sold from Auburn all the way down for A4 and Sturbridge here. And 95 on the southbound side. It's slow from the Hampton Tolls in New Hampshire all the way down to Andre and it's backed up all the way around from Hampton Tolls all the way out to Portsmouth and all the way stop and go from Kittery, Maine all the way down to Amesbury, Massachusetts here. And 89 South around a little slowly put to 93 in Cochrane Rancher here. And Route 2 and accident on Route 2. In Gardner here. But it was a good... 
And two. Exited on route six underneath front side of the house. Route 124 Naruto to slope from 137 on Naruto all the way down to South Dennis. Oh, boy, it's a good commute on town. Peter Channel News Time, 6.15, it's time now for the Peter Channel News Evening Report on this July 20th, 2014 on a Sunday. Good evening everybody, I'm Peter Wiggins and this what's happening. This is a grim picture of the remains up to 196 people from the Malaysia. 17 crashed in Ukraine have been loaded on the route. Refrigerated rail wagons will be taken to an unknown destination. First few workers have recovered a black box flight recorder from the wreckage of Flight MH17. And and in Gaza City, Gaza Strip, the first major grand battle in the two weeks of Israel Hamas fighting exactly the steep parts on Sunday. It killed six five Palestinians and thirteen Israeli soldiers and first dozens of terrified Palestinians. James Garner, the key role in this Maverick and on the Files, dead at the age of 86 yesterday. In New York, a decision by a Florida jury to impose punitive damage of $23.6 billion against. R.J. Reynolds' tobacco company on Friday is likely to be rejected on appeal of the award reduced substantially lower than the expense of jury award said. Hoy Lake, England, it's difficult to ask a 25 year old in profession to be an athlete or accountant to be a projected career path over the next two decades. Roy McElroy has won the British Open. Paul Levin's Buzz Aldrin stands on the moon as an iconic portrait captured by Neil Armstrong on July 12, 1969, in full resolution version. And starting to be seen reflected on Aldrin's helmet visor. Governor Patrick on Friday has announced two potential sites for weather sake and temporarily provide shelter for hundreds of uncovered children who have entered the United States illegally right part of the Boston Globe. In Washington, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry laid out what he called overwhelming evidence of Russian complicity in the shooting down of the Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 as international war was taken over the fate. That one was pretty sweet. Civilians expect the site of a bomb attack in the GI Baghdad on Saturday. A series of bombs, yeah, including well. three in less than 10 minutes, killed and wounded a dozen of people. Yeah, so in Seattle, the cave, so kind of sprinkles off and off. a massive wildfire raged in East Washington State's Cascade Mountains showed some sign of climate on Sunday with a fire crew saying they had slow expansion of our wind wind players that destroyed about 100 homes. In Chicago, an 11 year old girl was shot and killed during the Slammer Party as violence struck Chicago over the weekend. Local media outlets spread on Sunday as 40 people were shot in Chicago this weekend. I have a sinkhole opened in Florida near Orlando. Here's deputy said the sinkhole started out as 25 feet wide and 3 feet deep and that is big but it has been since grown bigger. Getting out the first leg of his Italian holiday, a khaki clad married the Blasio arrived in warm on Sunday to begin his eight day family vacation today later than scheduled fall on the death of a standing out man in police custody last week. Scared of a little geopolitical risk in the market, tell you straight, not have investment because they wouldn't listen to survive drama in Gaza and Ukraine. General Electric got married in the risky business of consumer credit cards and car and home loans that now steadily pursuing an exit. For Twitter and Facebook, the two principal combatants in the world of social media e commerce is emerging in the newest path. Low ground. So looking at second quarter, United States wireless service cover is miss, but a big four carriers and investor might not have known out of a number. Thing was a miss. Sky McCall Patricia, well known as a star in the 2000 movie. Much like that page with Mel Gibson, dead at the age of 21 in her Houston home. She was found in a bed in a garage apartment next to her parents' home by her boyfriend. Jordan Hill brought the last when he officiated um, them living in Bahati Prinzel's wedding at Florida Farms in Cabo St. Lucas, Mexico. This photo released by 12th Century Fox Film Corporation shows Andy Circus as a Caesar in a scene from the film. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Beyonce teased fans with a clip from the trailer of the much waited 2015 50 Shades of Grey film on Saturday night with a sultry teaser featuring Jamie Dornan, Jacoda Johnson, and her own baby vocals. Uh oh, believers, you're not gonna like this. Saturday night in the baseball stadium in Charleston, South Carolina, the crowd blew up a bunch of Miley Cyrus and Justin Bieber merchandise. Kinda like 35 years ago last week in Chicago's Comiskey Park, where a lot and lots and lots of fans destroyed disco records. On Wednesday, we'll be well off toward north and west. In science news map, Renier's extensive magnet has been mapped, but scientists have clearly said that a time cannot be predicted about volcano eruptions. The effects of global warming are frequently projected decades in the future, but two research reports, one from U.S. Global Change Research Program and the other from the U.N.
Morning. 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 news. Medical researchers announced mostly good news on Saturday night by infection diagnosis went down by a third for Americans as a whole over the course of the decade. Sure Messages as health department is on high alert as the Eastern Airquan is supplied as far as has been detected in the state. The residents of the state were asked to be highly careful this summer. Researchers have successfully used a new and potential safer method to simulate our evolution in women undergoing IVF treatment. One in six couples in the UK experienced infertility of 48,147 for women and went IVF treatment in 2011. Of optimism, so at the risk of offering a little downside, Fox students lobby Dunkin' Donuts, 750 Google Tools, and Market Basket employees rally, and company executives offer college customers. And in sports, Red Sox link the Kansas Rose 6 7 sweep of the Kansas Rose, and they'll be in Toronto for a four game series against the Blue Jays tomorrow. That's going to be it for us. 6 p.m. report at the Peter Channel News and the Weber Magician. Pete DeWig is going to be a good evening. I will see you at 11 o'clock. Have a good evening with a good positive attitude.